All hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Women go wild for these five fragrances. Yes, you saw the title, and that's exactly what we are talking about today. These fragrances do something special, which has garnered the attention of that special someone or potential special someone. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get down to Big Beard Business. So first up on our list today is a fragrance that is a 2022 release. It's new. I've talked about it on the channel before. And this fragrance is really, really dope. The fragrance comes from the House of Narcotica. And this one is Dulce Diablo or Dulce Diablo. This scent is dope. Now, if we're talking about fragrances that women go wild for, we have to understand the complete breadth about what this fragrance is. And when you look at this scent, this one is this boozy gourmand fragrance that also has an air of freshness to it. And I've been super impressed with this fragrance all in all. This fragrance does start off with some cognac and some rum, but there's also this chocolate feel that you immediately get on that first whiff. In fact, there's a lot of gourmand notes going on within this fragrance. You have some apricot, you have some vanilla, you have tonka, cacao, honey, cane sugar. You really can't go wrong with this fragrance. Again, this one is it's a fresh, boozy gourmand fragrance that has done wonders when it comes into compliment factor listen if you're looking for that chocolate feel those notes that really catch women's attention then you won't go wrong with this fragrance here 2022 release be sure to highlight my people down in the description and check this scent out this one was uh, provided by crystal fragrance again magnificent customer service over there and i think she may even have some decants available on this fragrance as well if you care to check it out the next fragrance on my list today is one that's been in my collection for I don't know, quite some time now, but this fragrance always delivers, and I haven't talked about this one as much, nor the house for that matter. This fragrance comes from the house of Joe Malone, and this one is Joe Malone's Myrrh and Tonka. Now, Myrrh and Tonka has obviously the notes of Myrrh as well as Tonka, but there's also some lavender within this fragrance and some vanilla that help add to the overall composition of this scent. Myrrh and Tonka comes off as a rich fragrance that women can't get enough of, and there's also this almond note within this scent that plays to the other notes of that lavender, that tonka, that vanilla extremely well. And I think that you'll be a-okay with the fragrance like this. This one is part of that cologne intense lineup. So it's a little more powerful than some of the others that you would expect from Joe Malone. But nonetheless, this is a phenomenal fragrance and they do fragrance as well. And this is one of those ones that stand out to me. Now, so far on our list today, we had a boozy gourmand fragrance. We had one that was warm and sensual with that mer and Tonka and this next fragrance kind of provides a few of those aspects you get that richness within the fragrance you also get um, some boozy qualities here but this also has this nice freshness to it that really makes the fragrance go completely different than its predecessor the fragrance that I'm talking about comes from the house of Killian and this one is Killian's apple brandy on the rocks now apple brandy on the rocks is a play or a flanker so to speak of apple brandy and apple brandy in itself is this uber boozy fragrance that really is in my opinion a phenomenal scent but there are gonna be some people out there who feel that that one is a little too boozy and you smell like an alcoholic but with this fragrance here it really provides some of those same qualities and aspects that you would get within a scent like apple brandy it makes it more uh, crowd pleasing so to speak there's some fresh notes within this one including the notes of pineapple bergamot and I would say even that apple within this fragrance is this uh, green feel of this moss within this scent and again freshness added into a scent like this. Traditionally, when I talk about these fragrances and these bottles, which is their uh, liqueur collection, and a lot of their fragrances provide the same uh, liquory feel here, um, this scent is completely different. In fact, all of the fragrances within that lineup are vastly different in my opinion. And traditionally, when I talk about this, we talk about Angel's Share, but this is a magnificent scent that will garner you a great deal of attention from the ladies out there. So wear this one, again, be hypnotic, be intoxicating so to speak with apple brandy on the rocks now as we go into the final two fragrances this next one is one that i've been champion since its uh, original release this fragrance comes from the house of byron parfums and this one is byron parfums moolah moolah now as you're seeing it today is within the newer presentation this one comes in a 75 ml bottle but uh, you still 
you'll get a lot of that same great feel that you got from the OG. Now there is the OG readily available in some places. I'm lying, it's not readily available anywhere. You can find it though. But the only difference that I really get there is going to be this the difference in the presentation, not necessarily in the scent profile. There's also that Moulin Moulin Rouge Extreme, which takes some of those notes that we enjoy within these fragrances and really put them amplified at the top of that scent. And that comes in Moulin Moulin in a red bottle, which is Rouge Extreme. Not to be confused with the chronic Rouge Extreme. This fragrance here is really just just a magnificent scent. In terms of who's going to enjoy this fragrance, it's one, someone who likes to smell amazing, someone who enjoys getting those compliments in. This fragrance does not lack in terms of performance, whether we're talking about longevity, projection, sillage, or compliment factor. Ladies go wild for a fragrance like this, and it's also, in my opinion, a unisex scent, so ladies could wear this one as well. So if you're a woman watching this video and you're thinking about wearing a fragrance for yourself, then hey, go for it. Or if you're a guy watching this video and you wanna squeeze one in, you can grab this one here and the missus won't be disappointed because, well, she can use this one as well. All right, so enough about that. In the top of this fragrance, you get peach, you get saffron, you get some caramel within the scent here. And then again, a lot of that still plays in within the mid and the base of the scent. As this fragrance continues on, in the mid here you get some pink pepper you get some cypria oil and then in the base you're going to get some uh, oud within there now the oud within this scent is not anything that's going to be off-putting in fact if it didn't say it there i would not even suggest that it had oud in there there's also some benzoin vanilla tonka again a very very phenomenal fragrance that uh gets women going crazy high compliment factor provided with this fragrance as well so be sure to try this scent out Mula Mula from the House of Byron Parfum. And the final fragrance I want to talk about today is one that is really top tier. And uh, this scent is one that I think a lot of you guys out there will enjoy or have enjoyed. And we've talked about this a little bit on, on Instagram and uh, in a story, so to speak, where some of you have reached out to me. But nonetheless, this is a phenomenal scent that uh, has the potential to drive women wild. This one comes from the House of Zhirjoff, and this one is Zhirjoff Udin Overdose. Now, this scent here is magnificent especially if you're looking for something to wear in the spring and or summer this is a scent that you can reach for now this one does open up as you would imagine in spring and summer something that's bright and fresh and you do get that with this scent in addition to that freshness here there's some lemon and bergamot here in the top that help add to that brightness but as this fragrance does transition on to the mid and to the base it does begin to change up a bit and i enjoy it but it's it's not really about me enjoying it, it's about what women enjoy, and this is one of those scents that's going to do wonders for you. In the mid of this scent, you get some ginger, some tobacco, and then there's also coffee within here, and I feel like that's where you begin to see a lot of that shift coming from that top of that bright citrusy open with that uh, bergamot and lemon, and you get something that's completely different in the mid. And then as you transition to the base here, there's going to be some amber and some musk here in the base, and the amber is almost like this honey filled amber that is really really uh just done in a super fantastic way so listen this is a scent that i enjoy ladies will uh enjoy the scent on you and it's a fragrance that i don't feel like you can go wrong with so if you're looking to pick this one up i'll leave this one linked and listed down below for you as well holler at the people over at twistedlily.com again i got some discount codes there that i can provide for you because well we want to save. We want to save. Yes, we want to save <laughs> along the way there. So all in, man, this is a phenomenal fragrance. And those are five fragrances that I believe will get things done for you. These fragrances do a few things. One, they're not like super uh, available. I mean, they are available, but not everyone's going to have these fragrances on. So you're going to be something that's not the typical guy that they run into. You're not that average uh, Joe, so to speak. But these fragrances are vastly different than that. And they also have amazing smells different in terms of complexity but also crowd pleasing so be sure to check these fragrances out are there any others out there that are on your list i would love to know as always i'm your boy big big b don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the goddamn bell